The Battle of Bouvines, which took place on 27 July 1214, was a medieval battle which ended the 1202-1214 Anglo-French War. It was fundamental in the early development of France in the Middle Ages by confirming the French crown's sovereignty over the Angevin lands of Brittany and Normandy. Philip Augustus of France defeated an army consisting of Imperial German, English and Flemish soldiers, led by Otto IV of Germany. Other leaders included Count Ferron of Flanders, William de Longspy and Renault of Boulogne. The defeat was so decisive that Otto was deposed and replaced by Frederick II Hohenstaufen. Ferron and Renault were captured and imprisoned and King John of England was forced to agree to the Magna Carta by his discontented barons. Philip was himself able to take undisputed control of most of the territories in France that had belonged to King John of England, Otto's maternal uncle and ally. Prelude. In 1214 Ferdinand, Infante of Portugal, and Count of Flanders desired the return of the cities of Air sur la Lys and saint omer which he had recently lost to Philip II, King of France in the Treaty of pont Vendine. He thus broke allegiance with Philip and assembled the broad coalition including Emperor Otto IV, King John I of England, Duke Henry I of Brabant, Count William I of Holland, Duke Theobald I of Lorraine, and Duke Henry III of Limburg. The campaign was planned by John, who was the fulcrum of the alliance. His plan was to draw the French away from Paris southward towards his forces and keep them occupied while the main army, under Emperor Otto IV, marched on Paris from the north. John's plan was carried out at first, but the Allies in the north moved slowly. John, after two encounters with the French, retreated to Aquitaine on 3 July. On 23 July, after having summoned all his vassals, Philip had an army consisting of 4,000 cavalry and 11,000 foot soldiers. The emperor finally succeeded in concentrating his forces at Valenciennes, although John was out of the picture, and in the interval Philip Augustus had counter-marched northward and regrouped. Philip now took the offensive himself, and in manoeuvring to get a good cavalry ground upon which to fight, he offered battle. On the plain east of Bouviennes and the river Mark, Otto was surprised by the speed of his enemy and was thought to have been caught unprepared by the King of France. Although he was under a church interdict, Otto, already an excommunicate, decided to launch an attack on what was then the French rear guard. Philippe August gave battle. His army quickly retreated. The Allied army drew up facing southwestward towards Bouvines, the heavy cavalry on the wings, the infantry in one great mass in the center, supported by the cavalry corps under the emperor himself. The total force was estimated at 25,000 men, a much larger force of foot soldiers and slightly fewer cavalry than the French. The French army of 15,000 men took ground exactly opposite in a similar formation, cavalry on the wings, infantry, including the town militias in the centre, Philip with the cavalry reserve and the royal standard, the Oriflamme, in rear of the men on foot. Philip's army contained about 2,000 knights and 2,000 mounted sergeants with the rest being infantry. Order of battle. Even today, the evaluation of forces is controversial. The classic French historiography often refers to coalition troops three times more numerous than those of the King of France. Philippe Cantarman is not of this opinion. On the face of it, his opponents did not have a clear numerical superiority. It is said by William the Breton, chaplain to Philip at the Battle of Bouvines, that the lines of soldiers stood in line in a space of 40,000 steps, which leaves very little clearance and predisposes to hand-to-hand -to -hand fighting. William the Breton also says in his column that the two lines of combatants were separated by a pretty small space. Philip Augustus had then launched an appeal to the municipalities in northern France, in order to obtain their support. Seventeen of the 39 municipalities of the royal domain answered the call for militia. Arras sent 1,000 men. Abbeville region sent 2,000 men. 
Paris sent a corps of 2,000 men, 1,750 of whom fought on the battlefield. In total, the Royal Army totaled 7,000 soldiers. The Royal Army was divided into three parts. The right wing, composed of Knights of Champagne and Burgundy, was commanded by the Duke of Burgundy Eudes and his lieutenants. In the front of the right wing were men of arms and militia from the parishes of Burgundy, Champagne, and Picardy led by mounted sergeants from Soissons. The central battle was conducted by Philip Augustus and his chief knights, William Desborès, Bartholomew of Roy, Gerard Scoffin owners, Gerard de So, William of Garland, Enguerron III de Cousy and Gautier de Nomours. In front of the king and his knights were infantry from the towns of Ile de France and Normandy. The left wing, composed of knights and foot soldiers was led by Robert of Drou and Count William of Ponthieu. The main body of the left wing consisted of Breton police and militia from Drou, Percher, Ponthieu, and Vimeu. The bridge of Bouvines, the only means of retreat across the marshes, was guarded by 150 sergeants at arms of the king who formed the only reserve for the French. Otto also divided his army into three groups. The left flank, under the command of Ferron of Flanders with his Flemish knights, directed by Arno of Audenarda. The soldiers were from Flanders and Hainaut. The centre under the command of Otto and of Theobald Duke of Lorraine, Henry Duke of Brabant, and Philip Courtney Marquis of Namur, together with many Saxon soldiers, knights, and infantry from Brabant and Germany. In front of the centre stood German infantry phalanxes formed deep, bristling with pikes and flanked by companies formed at each corner. Then in the second line the Saxon infantry in reserve, Otto stood in between surrounded by 50 German knights. The right flank, under the command of Renaud de Damartin, included equally Brabant infantry and English knights, under the command of the Earl of Salisbury William Longest Pay. At the extreme right, the English archers supported the flank of both the Brabant infantry and the nobles of the two Lorraines. Battle The battle opened with a confused cavalry fight on the French right, in which individual feats of knightly gallantry were more noticeable than any attempt at combined action. The serious fighting was between the two centres. The infantry of the Low Countries, who were at this time among the best in Europe, drove back the French. Philip led the cavalry reserve of nobles and knights to retrieve the day, and after a long and doubtful fight, began to drive back the Flemings. Meanwhile on the French left Robert de Drex's troops are at first pressed by men led by William Longespe and Renaud de Damartin are forced to defend the Bouvines Bridge foot by foot. William Longespe was unhorsed and taken prisoner by Philip of Drou, and the English soldiers fled. Mathieu de Montmorency captured twelve enemy banners. On the other wing the French at last routed the Flemish cavalry and captured Ferdinand, Count of Flanders, one of the leaders of the coalition. In the centre the battle was now a melee between the two mounted reserves led by the king and the emperor in person. Here too the imperial forces suffered defeat, Otto himself being saved only by the devotion of a handful of Saxon knights. The imperial eagle standard was captured by the French. The day was already decided in favour of the French when their wings began to close inwards to cut off the retreat of the imperial centre. The battle closed with the celebrated stand of Reginald of Boulogne, a former vassal of King Philip, who formed a ring of 700 Brabant pikemen and not only defied every attack of the French cavalry, but himself made repeated charges or sorties with his small force of knights. Eventually, and long after the imperial army had begun its retreat, the gallant Shildrum formation was ridden down and annihilated by a charge of 3,000 men at arms. Reginald was taken prisoner in the melee. The prisoners also included two other counts, Hainaut Ferron and William Longespe, 25 barons and over a hundred knights. The death toll amounted to about 170 knights of the defeated party, and many thousands of foot soldiers on either side. Aftermath According to Jean Favier, Bouvines is one of the most decisive and symbolic battles in the history of France. 
for Philippe Contamin, the Battle of Bouvines had both important consequences and a great impact. Philip returned to Paris triumphant, marching his captive prisoners behind him in a long procession. As his grateful subjects came out to greet the victorious king, Count Ferdinand remained imprisoned following his defeat, while King John obtained a five-year truce, on very lenient terms given the circumstances. Philip's decisive victory was crucial in ordering politics in both England and France. In the former, so weakened was the defeated King John of England that he soon needed to submit to his barons' demands and agree to the Magna Carta, limiting the power of the crown and establishing the basis for common law. In the latter, the battle was instrumental in forming the strong central monarchy that would characterize France until the First French Revolution. It was also the first battle in the Middle Ages in which the full value of infantry was realized. Philip conquered most of Plantagenet's continental possessions, namely Anjou, Brittany, Maine, Normandy, and the Touraine, leading to the effective end of the Angevin Empire. Commemoration In thanksgiving for the victory, Philip Augustus founded the Abbey of Notre-Dame-de-la-Victoire, between Sonlis and mont in 1914, to mark the seventh centenary. Felix de Howe had the parish church of Bouvines rebuilt with a number of stained glass windows representing the history of the battle, war games, Frederic Bay, Swords of Sovereignty, Bouvines 1214 and Warringen 1288, O Filder Lepe Acute -E Series, Ludifolia Editions. Rob Markham, Age of Chivalry Quot, 3 W War Games 1992. Citations. Carrot The Government of Philip Augustus, Foundations of French Royal Power in the Middle Ages, University of California Press, 1986, p. 381, ISBN 9780520073913, retrieved 28 April 2013. Carrot A B C D E F G H I J C Xenophon Group, Bouvines. Carat Bataille Francaise 1214 of 1559 du Colonel Hardy de Perini. Carat ABCDEF One or more of the preceding sentences incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain. Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Bouvines. Encyclopedia Britannica 4. Cambridge University Press. pp. 336-337. This cites. Charles Oman, History of the Art of War, 7, pp. 457-480 Cola, Kriegs G. Chichta, and C. 140 Del Pech, Tacticos E. E. Sickly, 127. Carrot the chroniclers say that Otto also strongly expressed his surprise to find himself facing the French army, while he believed they were on the run. Carrot This is the hypothesis of the rhyming chronicles by Philippe Mousgut. At the approach of night gathered the council, between him and his barons, for the good king, with his armies wanted to go to Mortagne, but those of his followers knew not how to advise him. When everyone had said his piece, with the best of intentions, Gerard the so spoke, Sire, will you not go there, truly, there are difficulties and harshness. And there are also three large villages and two small rivers beyond that prevent us passing to reach this place. But if you return towards your land, and the Flemings, who want war, if you turn back, will say that you flee. And when you follow this path with pride, with confidence, without any order, as all of us want to be sire, and you, without crown or anger, command a good rear guard, so that they are never separated, and also save your battles, and keep your soldiers close to their arms as a ruse. They will be ready if they are attacked. When you see the Flemings coming, they will be at your convenience. Everything was well accepted, and nothing more was discussed. They all went to sleep, and when the day came, the king drew up his battle, and made his orders to the troops. The carting and pack animals left the front during this time. 
Carat the Elmer Synod decreed in 1027 that it is prohibited to attack the enemy from the ninth hour on Saturday until the early hours of Monday. Carat Otto IV had promised Innocent III large territorial gains and support in the Kingdom of Sicily. For failing to honor these promises, he was excommunicated in 1210 and 1211. Carat J. Bradbury, Philip Augustus. King of France 1180-1223-283, Carat the opinion of Philippe Contamin, Carat la Philippide de Guillaume le Breton, Carat dictionary of streets and monuments in Paris and Louis-Félix Lazarus 1879 chapter 3 page 13, Carat Gerard Scoffer was called the So, due to the Latin equivalent of his name, Scrofer, Carat i.e. Duchy of Lorraine and County of Bar, Carat Gabriel Eisenbach, History of Heraldry and the Science of Coats of Arms, 1848, 321, Carat Dictionnaire de la France Medieval, Paris, Fayard, 1993, 176, Carat Histoire Militaire de la France, Paris, PUF, 1992, 83. Carat Harfond, Gregory I, The Medieval Way of War, Studies in Medieval Military History in Honor of Bernard S. Batrach, Ashgate Publishing, Limited, pp. 251-253. ISBN 9781472419583. Carat Smedley, Edward. The History of France, from the Final Partition of the Empire of Charlemagne to the Peace of Cambrai. 72, London. Baldwin and Craddock, 1836. Carat August Morel, de Paris à Cologne, à Brussels, à son lys, à l'aon, itinéraire descriptif et historique, l'ibr, de l, Hachette ACIE, 1864, 280, 